Hi there, it's Andy from the University of the West of England Eye Clinic in Bristol. Um, we're going to do a little bit more for symmetry practice. Uh, so this is the, the third set of specs we're going to use the, on the facimeter. Um, again, let me just get it all zeroed in. That looks nice and clear about there. So uh, you can see on the right side of the screen the view inside the facimeter. Um, on the top left you can see the axis scale on the outside here and on the, the bottom left you can see where I'm going to write the details on the sheet just here. So let's start by getting the, let's move the scale way up into the plus, there we are, round about there, we'll put the glasses on. So I'm, again we're starting way up in the plus because we're working in minor sill form. I'm going to wind the scale down towards the minus and that's going to come into focus round about there and there we go so I'm going to move that into the middle of the screen there we go the middle of the display rather there we go um, I'm gonna let me have a look see so that's I can see that pretty well I'm going to turn the axis until the two lines line up with those little dashes there there we go that looks pretty good so right lens it is minus 250 then we're going to leave space for the sill power we're going to check the axis now I'm going to turn the axis scale make sure that looks nice and clear so that comes in at 30 that's really good nice and clear and I'm going to keep turning the power towards the minus end of the scale oh there we go it's about there you can you can see on the image that I'm just moving the per, I'm moving the power just up and down slightly to make sure we get it nice and clear and that is reading minus 325 so to get from minus 250 to minus 325 the difference between those two numbers is minus 075 so we've got a right eye prescription just there I'm going to make sure that's in the middle and I'm going to dot the centers. That looks good. And then we're going to move over to the left eye. I'm going to start with the prescription way up in the plus, bringing it down towards the minus. There we go. That looks good. Oh, it's about there. Again, I'm just giving the scale a little bit of a wiggle. There we go. That looks good. So that is reading for the left eye. That is reading minus 150. I'm going to leave space for the sill and I'm going to work out the axis. There we go. I'm going to turn the dial. There we are. So I'm lining up the two green lines with the little dashes in the middle. And that is about there. That looks good. So the axis, oh gosh, now this is an interesting one. It comes out just below the, comes out just below the, the zero so I'm going to turn the dial all the way around that tells me that it's going to be quite close to 180 there we go so the left eye axis is 175 there we go and you can see by the the length of the little dashes in the middle that the sill power is quite low this one so it's going to be quite tricky to be accurate but that's what what the practice is all about so I'm just going to move that one a little bit more towards the minus. Okay, so we've gone minus 150, and oh, we're just over the two, aren't we? We're going to say 225. There we go. So to get from minus 150 to minus 225 is minus 075. Usually, when you look down the facimeter, you get a slightly clearer image than this. The webcam works pretty well. Actually, I can show you the tech. You can see I've just got a webcam held on with elastic bands, so it's very low tech, but it does the job quite nicely. Um, so yeah, when you the the human eye works better than a webcam. I'm sure you all appreciate that. And then I'm going to just dot up the left eye as well, left lens rather. Done. So. I think you can see that that was relatively quick, relatively straightforward. Um, 
you can see that I've kept to the usual convention with writing the prescription. So we, we go right eye and then left eye. Um, you can instead write the prescription out like this. So right eye and then left eye. But if you write the prescription any other way than that, it just isn't right. So uh, be mindful of that. Um, thank you very much indeed.